This video is brought to you by premiumbeat.com. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So we have a really awesome tutorial today uh, because we're gonna be writing on our text along with some other creative effects that are gonna help us put together some really nice titles. So, so if you're looking to do some really cool creative work, this tutorial is for you. And before we jump into our video, I wanna say thank you to premiumbeat.com for sponsoring this video. Premium Beat is a royalty-free music provider for your creative video and motion graphic projects. They have an extremely popular library with thousands of songs to choose from, and they have a very easy in-depth search and menu filter system that allows you to quickly find the best songs for your video. So for your next video project, be sure to check out premiumbeat.com. So let's go ahead and jump into our tutorial. Let's get started. All right, so here we are inside of After Effects, and this is what we'll be creating. Let's jump over to our tutorial composition, and all we have in here is our title. So if you want a few different title ideas, I'm using the font Smoothie. There's also Gloss and Bloom, and I also like the font Always Forever. So, so those are just some font ideas. You can check them out in the Adobe Type Kit if you have Adobe Creative Cloud. But if we want to get started with this, once we have our title done, we can start animating our title. So what we're going to do is grab the pen tool to write this on. And simply, it's very easy to do this, should be quick. You just click a point underneath you know, your title, and all we're gonna do is kinda outline around each letter one by one, and make sure you close it up, and you know, kinda keep it like that. And when each letter is done, make sure you click off of it, and just continue to move on to the next letter. It's really easy to do this, and you can backtrack when it makes sense. And when you have a letter like an H, you know, we can just do one you know, a uh, side at a time. So I'm just gonna create different mask for this and boom, had three different masks on that letter. So you just do what makes sense. And you see none of these masks are, all these masks are independent from each other so we can animate them very easily. So once this is done, we'll go up to uh, effect, generate, and we'll grab stroke. And we'll come here to all mask, make sure that's turned on. And we'll come here to paint style and we'll set this to on transparent. And we can hide our mask by clicking this toggle mask button right here. And we can come here to end percentage and we can set this down to 0%. We can add a keyframe for start and we'll move forward to maybe like three seconds and we'll set this up to 100%. And now, and now we have our title right on just like this. But obviously our title looks really bad, just like my skills in After Effects, they're that bad. So what we'll do to fix this, we'll set our brush hardness to 100%. And we'll set the brush size all the way up to cover up our original letters. So of course, once again, it looks really bad and I wasn't joking, my After Effects skills are that terrible. So what we'll do to fix this is we'll need to duplicate our you know, title and we'll come here to the bottom layer, we'll delete the stroke and we'll hit MR keyboard to bring up the mask, we'll delete all those masks. And then we'll come here to the track mat and if you don't see the track mat, you can toggle switches and modes, set this to alpha mat. So now, boom, we have our letters writing on like this. Um, and if you need to readjust the uh, brush size, be sure to do so. And of course, let's go ahead and hit U on keyboard to bring up those previous keyframes. Select your keyframes and hit F9 to make them easy ease keyframes. Um, it'll look very nice. And now I'd like to expand on this and talk about how we add that extra color in there to make this look really cool. So what we'll do is we'll grab both our text layers, go up to layer, pre-compose, and we can call this title brush you know, or whatever you want to name it. And we'll click, okay, okay, awesome. Then what we'll do here is we'll duplicate our layer, go up to edit, duplicate, and we'll go to effect, generate, fill. All right, and we'll change our color to, you know, whatever color we want. I'm gonna do like a light blue here, that's awesome. And all we're gonna do here is offset our layer, I don't know, by a couple frames. So now, look at that. Now you're getting a nice variation right there. And you know, that's cool. But we could duplicate it again, offset it by a couple frames, change the color to whatever we want. Awesome, duplicate, duplicate our layer again. And we can do one more color per se. And then we'll duplicate it again, set it off by a couple frames, and we'll change it, we'll delete the fill. So then we can keep it white. So it's really up to you how, what type of variation you wanna have. And you know, that looks really cool. We of course can always increase the number of frames so it appears to be longer. So now we have, you know, a little bit more of an offset here and we can come here to like one of these layers and we go up to effect mat and we're going to grab simple choker and we increase the choke mat here and that'll give us a little unique look. So this is how we can create some nice, you know, right on brush style text 
and add a little bit of color variation to this. I, and I do want to talk about some of these other techniques that we implemented to help finish up this composition. So, so real quick, I always like adding accent motion graphics to pretty much any title work. So that's why I created our motion graphics starter pack, which has over 300 elements in there. And we have tons of titles and accent motion graphics. So for example, I can come here and apply a cluster. And within the drag and drop, we've been able to add some awesome details to this composition. And we have over 153 of these accent motion graphic compositions. Uh, so if you want to check out our motion graphic starter pack, along with titles and animated backgrounds, that's all in one pack. That link will be in the description on our website. And you will be supporting our channel if you do purchase our pack. And for some other cool techniques, you know, we can start this off with a quick little transition. We can come here and grab the rectangle tool here at the top. And we can draw a rectangle like this. And we can begin for our timeline, hit PR keyboard for position, add a keyframe for it. You know, we can have to start on the top, move forward maybe by a few frames and bring it all the way down to the bottom. And as before, we can duplicate this composition. And this time we'll grab the bottom layer, offset it by a few frames, and we can change the color to, you know, something that's already in our composition. Click OK. Duplicate it again, offset the bottom layer by a couple frames, and we can change our color to another color. That should be good enough. And you have a nice, you know, quick transition. Another thing I did for our backgrounds, I added a quick flicker. We go to effect, color correction, brightness and contrast. All click stopwatch for brightness. Type in wiggle, open parenthesis, two comma 30, close parenthesis. And this will just add a nice little flicker to our composition. Looks really nice. And then we'll go to layer, new adjustment layer. And we'll go to effect, noise and grain, and we'll add noise. And I always do this in our videos. I'll set the noise up to 8% and uncheck use color noise. And this will add some nice texture to our entire composition, our text. It looks really nice to do that. So when it's all said and done with all these techniques implemented, we can have a really cool composition like this. And you know, it's pretty much at your disposal to do what you want to do. So that you can create a really cool creative write on title inside of After Effects. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creative.